Sage. In order to sync Sage Business Cloud Accounting with StoreHub, you need to first create yourself a StoreHub account. So go onto the storehub.io website, click on create an account, and then you'll be presented with this form over here. You'll need to select the correct country in order for us to give you the right API connections. Enter your domain name over here to claim it as a unique domain pointing to the StoreHub services. And save. The first thing we need to do when setting up your StoreHub account is now connect your Sage Business Cloud Accounting to StoreHub. Click on the Add Source button, select your accounting type, give your source reference a name, pick your store mode, this will be business to consumer, business to business or both. If you're selling only to the general public via a retail store, select the B2C option. This pushes only one price list to your online store. You may also pick the stock calculation type. Quantity available is the most commonly selected option as this is how your accounting software is typically set up to run. And this button over here is to say that you want price and stock to update automatically. Next off, head off to the Sage Business Cloud Details tab, enter in your accounting username and also your accounting password and you can check the credentials. If you've entered in the incorrect credentials over here, a warning will display below. If you have multiple companies linked to your Sage Business Account profile, you can pick which company you'd like to sync with StoreHub. And once you're happy, click Submit. In order to start using StoreHub, we need to perform an initial full sync. So you may click Sync Now. And in the top right hand corner over here, you'll see that the sync has been initiated. You can verify this by visiting the Logs tab as well to see when exactly the sync has been completed. And there we have it. It's important to note that you must have a cash sales customer created in Sage Business Cloud as well as a delivery service item. Let me show you how to create those quickly. Select the cash customer option and then you can save. In order to create the service delivery item where all the cost of shipping generated on your online store will be allocated to in Sage Business Cloud, click on items, add an item. and select service item and save. There you have it. You've now successfully added your Sage Business Cloud Accounting profile to StoreHub and the data is syncing successfully.